Hi everybody, I'm Andrea Ali and in today's video I'm going to show you everything I've bought in LA. I got so many messages from you, like direct messages and, and comments in my pictures to do this kind of video. It's my very first time, I usually don't do this kind of thing. I feel like it's a little bit like bragging. I got this, I got this. But actually the kind of purchase that I did was not necessarily for myself, but for me as a makeup artist. So maybe this is just going to be helpful, helpful for those of you who would like to attend uh, IMATS. So for those of you who do not know, I have been in LA for a few days to go at the International Makeup Artists Trade Show, short IMATS. And there you find so many brands, like you can have really good deals. Now, what I like to do, I like to save as much as I can the whole year. And then when I go to IMATS, I like to buy pretty much everything I need, like supplies for a whole year. Before I get started, make sure that you are part of this crew in here okay so make sure you're subscribed and that you have hit that notification button now we can start first i want to talk about something that i use so much and that is beauty blenders i know that they're quite expensive in the store in like sephora because i think this is the only place where they they sell so i got this really cool pack you've got six beauty blenders pro and a soap which is the best soap to cleanse your beauty blenders and also your brushes i got a bunch of these maybe like four or five because they were very very good price so for six beauty blenders and the soap i paid 64 dollars so that is like what less than 10 dollars for a beauty blender that's a great deal another thing that i uh, bought and i have told you so many times on my insta stories if you're not following me on my insta story you should follow me on instagram please okay, okay i gotta open it i have already opened one but it's in the bathroom so i don't want to lose 10 calories <gasps> to bring it i also got this soap the charcoal uh, soap from beauty blender again the best thing to wash your beauty blenders and your brushes so this was twenty dollars and i think it's a great price for the value i've got a bunch of brushes so i'm gonna leave that to the end let's talk about foundations i went to buy the lc uh, from the lc cosmetics because a lot of you told me buy their foundations they did not have a lot of the colors that i was looking for and i have to try it on me first so i did not find anything from lc but i got the jouet and i got two colors I always get at least two colors. I usually buy a very light color and a very dark color. Uh, but with Jouer, I really wanted to find my perfect match. And I almost got it. This is phone, phone, phone. And the other one is bronzed. I'm white like a ghost. <sighs> this is my natural color. Here are the two colors. Here is phone. Here's bronzed. As you can see, both of them have um, yellow, <clears throat> a yellow undertone. So phone is still not my perfect match, but uh, I still hope and pray that I'm going to go on vacation this year and I'm gonna get a tan, like a natural one from the real sun. So that is the foundation, already tried it. I like it on me. Full coverage, you need like half a drop. Then I got these foundations from Laura Mercier. This is Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Foundation. And then the other two are Candle Glow Soft Luminous Foundation. 
I've tried these. They were expensive, guys. And I thought that I'm going to like them on models, like on, on women with perfect skin. And I tried it because we just had the fashion week and I had a lot of work. I can tell you that I did not like it at all, actually. I was trying it on someone and I just had to take it off. No, so this is the worst purchase that I got. I'm sure there are so many people that love this foundation that works for them. It did not work for me. It did not work with the base that I'm using. I'm not saying I'm completely giving up on these foundation. I will give it another try, but for now, no. Another really good deal that I found was the Laura Mercier Translucent Blue Setting Powder. Now you guys know how much I love this powder and I use it for myself. I use it for some of my clients and I found a really good deal. I paid $20 for a powder. Isn't that absolutely amazing of course i bought four i forgot to mention that when i got the foundation from jouet they had this brush uh which is one of those um it looks like those artist uh brushes i i'm it's kind of unusual for me to use it but i cannot say it's a bad product i just need to practice a little bit more i don't feel like it's a bad investment unfortunately because i bought a bunch of stuff from Jouer. I don't remember how much I paid for the foundations, for the brush, and I'll show you what else I got. I got this really beautiful, like beautiful highlighter. This is in, this is in Topaz. I know it looks kind of dark right now, but I can tell you when I apply it on my skin, like in here it looks so beautiful moving on to Jouer I love love this lip gloss for me there is this is like amazing if you want to have a lip gloss that is like shining from the space and has like something spectacular in it you would get the Jouer skinny dip also from Jouer they had a little they had like a palette with all these mini lip glosses Actually, there were seven. Now I only have six, cause I um I gave one to one of my clients who really loved it, and I gave it to her. If you want to see a video where I've used this, I'll put a link in here. It's that video uh, where I'm showing you how to make your lips look bigger. With all the purchase that I did from Jouer, they gave me this lip gloss, like a gift. This is in the color Diamond Walk. It's just a beautiful... Actually, it works with what I have right now on my lips, so... It's just a simple... Lip gloss. I went to Dose of Colors. Unfortunately, Dose of Colors do not allow you to buy more than five liquid lipsticks from uh, their brand at eye mats just so that everybody gets the chance to buy from them so at the dose of colors uh, corner there was a huge line like huge line uh and then if you already knew what colors you wanted to get you didn't stay in line you would go straight and tell them the colors that you want i had heels okay a little bit of heels but i'm sorry i couldn't stay that long in line i've already stayed forever at morphe i i couldn't do the the line at dosa colors so i went straight and i got the colors that i knew i was missing so i used to have them before my kit was lost back in july i told you about that story on instagram so um i got desert suede i got merlot then i got bury me two coral crush no name so here are the colors these are matte liquid lipsticks so right now they're not dry that's why they are still shining but I don't know which color is this one in here. But the second one is Coral Crush. Then you got Merlot, Bury Me Too, and Desert Suede. I got this Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer Pot. It looks like this. This is the color that I got. It's in medium. 
And the reason why I got this is because they told, they actually showed me um, how it looks like on the skin. And I really like it. It's that kind of concealer that I'm going to use actually as a corrector because it has this peachy tone. And I've used it today, like just a tiny little bit in here because I'm so tired. I am up since 4 a.m. Right now it's almost 4 p.m. This is such a good product. I have it right now, as I said. It's a good product to use to correct your darkness, like right here, and then to use your regular concealer. Next. I got three lip liners from Bobbi Brown. I don't remember the price, but probably they had really good price if I, if I got them. Two from a Laura Mercier. From Bobbi Brown, I got Pink Mauve, Nude, and Ballet Pink. I'm not sure if you can see the difference in the colors. They all look the same, right? And then uh, Laura Mercier, I got Baby Lips Plumberry. Baby Lips. And the other one right here is Plumberry. Since we are at lip products, I also wanted to show you these two colors that I got from Girlactic. These are uh, matte lipsticks. One color is a little bit more brown and the other one has a little bit more pink in it. They look like this. Still I was there, so I got the Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow. I got these three colors. I'm wearing this one right now on my eyelids this is what i'm wearing this is in a color smoky storm after we were done with eye meds we went to this shopping mall called the groove and of course the first store that i wanted to go was sephora and the girls that i was going with they were like oh my god after being surrounded by makeup for two days you still want to go into a sephora store i'm like yes of course always always going to be interested in in makeup and sephora indeed it's a really cool store so i went there and bought this uh, lip gloss this is from buxton boxum one of those lip glosses that when you apply them you feel like a tingling sensation very natural on the lips what else did i get i didn't get that much makeup I got a lot of brushes, but in terms of makeup, I got two palettes from Morphe. Okay, the line at Morphe, out of this world. It was outside the building, so you had to go outside the building and surround the building. That's where the line started. Plus inside, they had like a huge space. It was just crazy. I went and bought this Morphe. This is... I don't know which Morphe palette this is. It's the one with the oranges. I've already put my finger into this one. I wanted to just punch myself. This was so cheap, $19. I remember I paid $19 for this palette. I can tell you this is a great quality. I mean, there are high-end brands that they don't do eyeshadows as pigmented as these. So I just wanna, show you a few colors this is a random swatch right now i just wanted to show you how much pigment these have the reason why i have not used morphe until this moment is because i think it was 2014 when i placed my first order at morphe and i was ordering only brushes 200 and something dollars i've placed my order and i chose not like the highest shipping method i did like the middle one it was like 25 dollars or something like that i was living in bucharest back then and the brushes never came and they never gave me the money back they were more than 200 dollars wasted okay money that i worked for that i never received back i have i have had for a longest time a really like bitter taste about them i would buy stuff from them in the store but i would never place an order on their website just because another palette that i got is the jaclyn hill palette and that is not because i needed to have this color this palette there weren't any color there wasn't any color that i was totally 
obsessed with it. It's nothing that I don't have already, but it's just my way to support other YouTubers even though she never heard of me. <laughs> but she's just so different than my style, than what I do in here. I'm so slow. The words come very hard for me and she's like so quick and everything comes so fast. And for me, it's like, I, I need to watch it two times to realize what she just said. I'm slow, you know? But this palette is very beautiful. You got everything in here. This palette, however, this was 38 dollars still a very good price for the bunch of colors that you get however i feel that these eyeshadows are so much better quality than the other ones so the 38 dollars that she put on them it's definitely worth it good job jacqueline okay so now since we're talking about morphe this is also something that i got from morphe the the how do you call this the bag the pouch i love everything that is clear because i can see what's inside unfortunately i don't remember how much i paid for it but i'm sure it was a really good price i also got this spray this is a setting spray from morphe i've never used it soon i got also the uh, beauty sponge, but it looks like a beauty blender to me. A little bit more dense, I would say. So one thing that I hate about the beauty blender is that you put it on your table, wherever you're doing your makeup, and then because it's round, it's just going to roll and in a second it's going to be on the floor and forget it, you can't use it anymore. But I saw this cut like this and I was like, okay, this is perfect, I'll just, this is going to stay. I got quite a few brushes from Morphe. They didn't have the G collection. I can tell you that all of these brushes I've already used. Some of them, they're already in my kit. That means that I can't live without. Blending brush. And then this, I love this brush. Love it. So with clients, I apply a little bit of concealer. And then I don't, I don't use necessarily the Beauty Blender on around the eyes for my clients i like to use the brush because it just i don't know i just love the finish with the brush plus you don't apply that much so this is y15 brush i love it these are for foundation these two brushes i use them for anything that's cream product like concealer or contour from Morphe also, uh, I got a bunch of these uh, disposable lip applicators. They're very, very good. And as a makeup artist, you have to have this in your kit. You cannot apply lipstick directly from the bullet on your client. You just can't. If you do that, you just give her the product. Don't do that to yourself. You never know. Another thing that I got from Morphe, but I have a bunch of brushes in it. You put all your brushes in here and then, see, it's so easy to travel with. I mean, I love this thing. I have a couple of them. Since we have been talking about brushes, IMATS LA, I think it's the only place, maybe they are, also, they are also coming in London. It's a good opportunity to buy brushes from Hakuhodo. It's absolutely incredible expensive so you have morphe that is like a honda and then you got hakuhodo that's like a rolls royce i love their brushes i know that nobody is crazy enough to pay a hundred dollars for a brush but for the love of makeup these are the brushes that i got from hakuhodo i do not recommend this in terms of like you have to have this no, you don't. You don't have to have this. You can do your your makeup with Morphe brushes. They're like $2. But if you are a makeup artist and you just... Or if you are just a makeup lover and if you want to have like the best of the best, then you would get Hakuhodo. Then I got some brushes from Smith. Uh, I used to have them uh, before. I love them. They are they are just good blending brushes. What I love about Smith's smith brushes is this brush in particular 
Can you see the shape? Like this is so perfect for the crease if you want to have like a perfect contour. So this is a great brush for that step. I got Z palettes. Sometimes you buy individual eyeshadows and you know, you need to put them in, in uh, some sort of palettes. And Z palettes, in case you don't know them, they are magnetic palettes. They're empty, so you can put whatever eyeshadows you have. Both of them are this color. I know, boring. I've also bought a bunch of Zuka cases. I don't know, pouches, cases, how do you call this? But I love them because they're clear. You can see what's inside. So in my makeup kit, I like to have everything organized. I know I need to know every single product, where it is. If I need to work in the dark, I just grab it. They come in so many sizes. So you got this size and then then you got this size. I I place them like this one on top of the other and it's really really helpful for when I travel. I also got the Kopari coconut oil. This is gold in a bottle. I can tell you this. I I have the big jar and it used to be very uncomfortable because it's heavy. So this for my kit this is just amazing. Let's just say you have a client, okay? She's asking you, do you have any product for your body? I don't have any cream with me. You take this, you put a little bit of some liquid glow that you have, I don't know, whatever you're using. You mix it and you apply it on her decolletage and legs, whatever she needs. It's going to be amazing. She's going to be very happy because it smells like coconut. Everybody loves coconut. It hydrates really well. It's 100% organic. This is great. The mirror. I'm sure you all want to know about that mirror. Another thing that I got is this mirror. I'm keeping it like this because I don't want to blind you with the light. So let's turn it. This is so cool. You can connect it to your phone. It has Bluetooth. You can... It has a magnet so you can put your phone right here in the middle and then you know, you could do your Insta stories or whatever you want to do. Then it also has sort of a support where you could just put it on the table and do your makeup. I feel like this is so cool. I love it. You charge it. It has a charger so you can charge it. It also comes with a magnifying mirror, but I don't know where I've put that one. It's, it's a round one. I'm trying to keep it away from me because, you know, it's good and bad in the same time. So here is the name of the brand. I think it's Ricky. This was $190. Not cheap. I'm not saying it's cheap. But for me, I think it might be an investment. I haven't used it yet the way I wanted to use it. So I wanted to use it for you guys, for my Insta stories, to do like mini tutorials. For me, it's, you know, it's an investment. Moving on to lashes. I got... A bag. I have different brands I got from this brand called Blutter. Anyway, they these look like this. The lower lashes were there and I bought myself only two pairs. The lashes are beautiful. They're very, very beautiful. And then I got a bunch of lashes from House of Lashes. I got Noir Fairy Black. I got Wispy Mini. I mean these are so cute and they are so perfect for my eye shape. If you've got small eyes and if you're looking for something very natural, this is for you. These are the Wispy Mini. They're going to make a difference, but not, but not as much as in people would be like, oh yeah, she's wearing false lashes. It's that kind of feeling that people would be like, wow, she's got beautiful lashes, you know? They're not at all obvious. I love these. I got a bunch of them. I also got the Iconic Light. You probably know Desi Perkins. She is a YouTuber, a great YouTuber, and I've seen her using Iconic so much in her videos. And when I actually saw the Iconics in front of me, I was like, whoa, 
these are big like really big i also got some coco lashes i got the queen bees i got some individuals okay so house of lashes and coco lashes they have really good they have good pricing but if you want to have if you want to find something really really cheap you go to imed and you get these so you buy them exactly like this just no other box or anything like that and I think eight pairs there are ten dollars and they have multiple styles but I personally like this one this is like a I'm not sure if you can see this is a, like a um, demi wispies I love them and I got so many of these as well I also went to Ulta because I wanted to get more drugstore products but then I went there and I realized they didn't really have the products that I was hoping they would. Like the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, they were out of every single uh, light or medium color. Only They only had the very dark colors. That's it. That's it. I was so disappointed. What I got from there... I didn't even open it like I have it just the way I bought it I didn't touch it so this is the Laura Laura Geller gilded honey gilded honey I had to have this it's okay I cannot say I have never in my life seen anything like this it's a good one in my opinion the Maybelline one is so much better I'll show you okay so here is the Maybelline I wish they had more than they only have th uh, three colors. So when you touch this, it's just so buttery. Here, here is the Maybelline. And then here is the Laura Geller. I love the Maybelline one. I've seen a lot of people talk about these. Uh, so these are the Maybelline Superstay Matte ink haven't used them yet but um, soon so after this video i hope that i'm going to get a lot of comments from you telling me exactly what is it that you would like to see in a video i also bought the physician's formula this is a bronzer i got this color this is in light to medium i feel like this is going to be a perfect color for me Gla butter london glazen eye gloss I got these in two colors, one in bronzed and the other one in icing. And this is actually how the icing looks like. Look at the consistency. Ooh, I love this. I think that my next tutorial is going to be a Valentine's Day look. What do you guys think? Would you like a Valentine's Day look? I think this sums up everything that I got from IMATS and LA in general in terms of makeup. If any of you ever attended IMATS, I would love to know your opinion about it. Did you like it? Was it fun? Did you find good deals? You can find IMATS in London. LA. I think it's in New York as well. From my experience, I've also been to London for IMATS and it can't... no, it doesn't compare with the one from LA. If you want to, I would suggest you to go to LA. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you really enjoyed this video and subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already. If you're not following me on Instagram, you should because I am sharing with you a lot of tips and tricks and just a lot about my life here in Paris. Uh, so go check that out. But you can also follow me on Snapchat and Facebook. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!